What's going on everybody, James here from Artificial Entertainment, and welcome back for another episode of our Unreal Engine multi-weapon system series. And in this one, we're going to be going over the character inputs and the rest of the character code, um, so let's go ahead and dive in. Alright, so I know I said in the last video that we were going to be doing the animations in this one, but I really wanted to make sure that we kind of covered the inputs a little bit um, before moving into the animation, so I made this its own thing. So I apologize, but this is there's a reason for it, don't worry. So, as I had said, we're going to be working on finishing up the character values as well as setting up our inputs. So, if you're using 5.1, um, you're going to need to make them utilizing the new input system. So, we're going to go inputs, actions. I've already made my inputs here because it's pretty simple and I've already shown you guys how to be able to do it with the interact. Um, and all I did was take that one and duplicate it three times, rename at the end with pistol, rifle, and sword. Went into the IMC default and I mapped pistol to one, rifle to two, and sword to three. I didn't add any triggers, no modifiers, just simple values. And if you're using 5.0, do the same thing in the project settings and you will be good to go. So let's head over to our third person blueprint and BB third person character and start setting up our inputs and values. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to call all of our inputs. So we're going to go interact sword so i called each one interact and then the weapon so ia interact sword ia interact pistol and then ia interact rifle perfect so what we're going to do is we're going to create two new variables as well first one's going to be a boolean called weapon drawn and then we're going to create another uh, variable here called active weapon and we're going to change this to a weapon class enum for the enumeration that we made in the first video. Now, we're also going to make a second one called desired weapon and keep it at the same weapon class enum. Now, this is mainly so that way we can control our animation blueprint a little bit better and have inputs not directly trigger or impact the state, the state that we're going to be in. So... There, you're going to see some few a few different uses for this, but um, mainly it's just for making sure that you have an active weapon and desired weapon and separate them out. So what we'll do is we'll take the rifle, pistol, and we'll move those off to the side, and we'll start working on the sword first. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get the desired weapon, and we're going to set it. So we'll go started, and this one's going to be sword. And then we'll take these two here, and then we're going to duplicate down. So we can go started and then set this one to pistol, started and set this one to rifle. So now we have something setting what our desired weapon is going to be. We're going to right click, custom event, and select weapon. Now what we're going to do is take the desired weapon and get the getter node for it. Pull off and type in switch. This way we can get the switch on weapon class enum. It'll pretty much be the only thing that'll pop up if you pull off an enumeration. So, and actually we're going to take this off. We want to get the active weapon. So just delete the desired weapon and plug the active weapon into the selection instead. Because it's the same enumeration. It's just we want to use a different version of it. So with the select weapon, we're going to look at whatever our active weapon is. If our active weapon is none, then that's good. We don't have any weapons currently in our hands. So we can just go ahead and... Take the desired weapon, get it, pull off, do a select, or I'm sorry, do a switch and get that switch on weapon class enum. And we're going to plug this in just like this. So now our desired weapon is going to be the thing that it will influence what is actually going to happen. So if our desired weapon is rifle and we don't have anything currently active in our rifle slot then we can pull off get a do once and then off of completed here we're just going to go for a play montage and then we're going to set our go to our components tab and get our character mesh and set that into the in skeletal mesh component part now we're going to leave the montage to play blank for right now but we are going to be setting it so don't worry and then we're going to go off of the execution pin here and we're going to run a delay for about we'll say 0.5 seconds for right now and then we'll just plug completed back into reset so this is just going to make it so that way um it can't be done like over and over and over again uh you can't spam the button just gives it time to actually assess what the values are supposed to be so we'll go ahead and put that into there and then we'll put this one for pistol and then we'll duplicate it for sword so now we have draw rifle pistol and sword if we don't have any currently active weapon awesome all right, so now that we have the ability to check if our active weapon is none and giving it the ability to choose based off of whatever the desired weapon is, 
We also want to make it so that way we have the rifle, pistol, and sword being swapped if we have either of any of them active. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click, create a new custom event, and we're going to call this one stow rifle. Another custom event, call this one stow pistol. And we're going to get another custom event, and we're going to call this one stow sword. So now once we have these custom events made here, pull this off to the side, we'll take the stow rifle, and we're actually going to take this, we're going to use basically the same one, so it's going to do once, montage, play, delay, reset. So we'll take that and push this up. Stow pistol, do the same thing. And then stow sword. So let's take these and move these up here. And we'll take this, copy it, duplicate it, and then stow sword. So now from here, what we can do is active weapon sword. So now from here, we're going to take this select weapon, move it down a little bit just to give us a little bit more space. And then we're just going to pull off of these individually. And we're going to go stow rifle, stow pistol, stow sword. Now, the reason why I'm not setting anything like um, the Boolean value for desired or for active weapon, um, the combat variable that we also made earlier, uh, the Boolean value here, is because this is actually all going to be controlled through notifies. So that's the reason why I'm not doing that yet. So now from here, the only thing I need to do is we're going to go off of the set here, go to select weapon. And I can just plug all of these in just like this. So now I can compile. And I'll go grab an event tick real quick. Pull off, get a print string, and we're going to get the active weapon class. So we're going to have this being printed right to the string value. So if we select a sword, it should go to sword. If we're in sword and we select rifle, it should, you know, change the desired weapon. So actually, I should change that off because the desired weapon is what's going to actually be changed. So we'll compile, save, go ahead and click on play. So right now it's none. Right now it's pistol. If I press pistol again, it won't deset de anything because we're setting it after. But if I press three, I got rifle and sword. So all of my enumerations are being set correctly. I'm getting no errors when I'm playing. So we're good. All right. So now we have our inputs being set for sword, pistol, rifle. A weapon select function happening here where if our active weapon is none, it's going to go through and just choose whatever the desired weapon actually is. And then if an active weapon is rifle, pistol, or uh, sword, we're going to go ahead and stow those uh, pieces of information. Now, in the next video, we are going to be going into the animation blueprint, encoding in the actual things that are going to set the active weapon, set weapon drawn, all of that stuff. So, hope to see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, stay animated, y'all.